Well, ladies, we're here at Douglas and Main Street, and there's a lot of damage kind of on this little block here. I want to show you there's a big branch that came off of this tree last night that fell onto that house, even landing on some of the roof, kind of really main, really hitting the main um, front area of the house there. And then if you cross the street, you can look at this big tree that fell over too. One of the things that I've noticed is that these aren't little trees that were blown over. I mean, these 100 mile per hour winds were taking out huge trees. I mean, just look at the size of that. And then also the big issue is that there are still at least over 100 people in Fremont County, 100 customers, I should say, in Fremont County that do not have power. So you can see that there's just some of the power lines right there down, and that could be affecting people's power in the area. I spoke to a woman at Casey's this morning, and she said when she left for work, she still did not have power as of this morning. So a lot of damage. Um, crews will be out this morning assessing everything. Last night, it was just getting that debris off the roads. You can even see some of the tracks right there. I'm sure of where crews were pushing that big tree off of the road to make it safe for drivers to drive through this morning. Um, but this is the damage that we're seeing so far, and it's pretty significant. Reporting live, Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7.